last exorcism to our the last exorcism or so we thought it was until we made some money so we decided to make a next one well <laughs> the last but one exorcism <laughs> yeah <laughs> you a goddamn lie movie you a lie <laughs> i wish i could add i hope as the, yeah. the title because yeah after tonight i'm like eh, you know oh. they should have left it alone man well, it's, it's too late for this but, shit but, yeah. but to be fair it ain't all that much of an exorcism. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's because that's because an actual exorcist exercised that script I mean, <laughs> of any like, plot, yeah, character, yeah, well, any was, kind of interesting was there a, thing. Period. I mean, it's too late for this shit, man. It's too late for this. I mean, uh, it's way too late. Uh, it, I, I love how often we're like, man, somebody needs to cut editor and and like trim this down and tighten it up. <laughs> This editor went nuts and took yeah, everything yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure even if you were to like, you know, you cut out the excess stuff and just get to the horror. I'm like, uh, what would you cut to? I don't <laughs> even know. I don't I'm think not... the editor cut anything out. I think he added some stuff. But it was all the stuff with the people just walking around the set, just looking, yeah. doing nothing. You I know. know. Just, I know. Just, just staring at standing shit. Standing around. That's what, that's what this movie should have been called, standing around. Or, or just noises. You, now, who's, you didn't see the first one. Leo. No, I did, did not you? see the first one. But you saw it. I did. We, yeah. we liked the first one. Yeah, yes, we, we did. did. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I, I had. I remember having a bit of problems with the ending, thinking it was just a little too silly. We all did. Too mm-hmm. absurd. Yeah. But on the whole... It actually kind of sold its premise pretty well, and it had a lot of twists in it that you didn't see coming. Uh, see, that's the problem with this movie. We liked it until it got to the ending, which yeah. was stupid and it was silly. Yeah. And it's the ending that leads on to this movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. yeah this takes place. Okay, how, right. how, does, how does the last one end? That you should be able to, to, to tell us that. Well, let me just, I'm not going to say how the last one ends in case somebody wants to see it. I mean, I could do that whole thing of come back, but I'm not going to do that to these people because, for one thing, it's too goddamn late. <laughs> but you know, I've sat here long enough watching a dumb movie and I got to talk about it. But I will say this. For anybody who's seen the last one, it takes place right after that where – if you knew what happened to the girl, what was her name? Switzer, Switzer, Nell, Switzer, Nell, Nell, Sweet- <laughs> Nell yeah. Switzer, mm-hmm. yeah, played by Ashley Bell, who, oddly enough, looks like Jamie Bell with a wig on. <laughs> no relation, though. <laughs> Look at her next time. But, but if you remember the last one, she's she was a possessed girl, and the last one was a found footage movie, and it ended in the woods. Now this one begins with her coming out of the woods. All balled up on somebody's kitchen counter, yeah. disturbing yeah. people in that sleep. Yeah. This guy's about to get up with his wife, have some sex, and she's in there banging <laughs> noises and making waffles and shit. I know. At first, I was like, "Wait, is this Mama?" I thought, it, wait, wait, "Am I in the right theater?" Yeah. Like, it, oh, it kind of looked like that. Yeah. Am I dead? No. You're in a hospital in New Orleans. There was a fire. They're still sorting through the remains, but it appears. You're the only one left. He's still out there. Who is? Who's still out there? But they find her. She's not hurting anybody. She's just weird, dirty, the ass is all shitty and everything. Well, <laughs> they, they well she does up. scratch the hell out of that dude. Oh, she does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She like, does. Because yeah. I, yeah. I, I was expecting him to turn a corner and there'd be a raccoon there. Well, which is <laughs> the, the first of an endless series of how many horror movies have we already seen this horror gag in where, like, the person gets out of bed, the person comes back to bed next to the person, or so you think, as they're, like, lying next to him, honey, it's cold, can you get the sheets? Were you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> she comes out the bathroom. Who's yeah. in yeah. the bed? <laughs> it's not you. Then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Mr. No, 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 Mr. Raccoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, even the raccoon is like, hey, I'm standing right here. Yeah, I'm right here. I don't know what the hell's going on. He's running off with the garbage. Hey, see you. I don't know, who's, I don't know what that bitch is in your bed. But, yeah, they, 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 they take her, they clean her up. They put her in the girls' home. They put her in a mental institution. They put her in a girls' home. And they try to get back on track. And they try to get her a job. They try to say, hey, you know, we're going to work with you. All get this, your life together. Yeah, all this supernatural stuff. It ain't real. That was bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah, you in the real world now. We're, we're going to help you it get through like, it. like, yeah, yeah I, I saw the first movie. That was a, just yeah. a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> but <laughs> she ain't letting it go. She's still hearing things. She's still seeing things. She and, wants to believe them, to yeah. be clear, that it was bullshit that was in her mind. Because who wouldn't, right? We'd be of like, course. wow, that was obviously this cult fucked with my head. And like there was no devil or anything like that. It was just manipulation. She goes, okay, I'm ready to be healed. And then the devil goes, hello. Yeah, yeah she'd be okay <laughs> if... 
those goddamn people from Mardi Gras would just start would just stop staring at her <laughs> because that's where it takes place in New Orleans and wherever where she goes, she's fine. But there's always somebody wearing some beads or wearing a, a Mardi Gras mask. Or, yeah, uh, uh, don't forget yeah. the, the silver statue. I know, <laughs> the yeah. people who stand there and don't move until you do <laughs> something. I know. All, all of them are stalking her. Know, it's it's like that was every, my favorite. Every, I love that. And it's like everyone feel- everyone is doing their best Michael Myers impersonation. Yeah, <laughs> you get the feeling so. that if she just show her tits, you yeah. know, they throw her some beads <laughs> and leave her alone. All the well, devil wants. If only, yeah. if only we can find them. Yeah. <laughs> We're not being sexist people. That's Mardi Gras. No, no. And the devil <laughs> like titties just as much as anybody else. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. See? See? All these people talking about paranormal activities, deep and great, and all these other movies. Uh-huh. You take away that found footage shit. You take away that gimmick they got. You ain't got no movie. No, Take away that shit, shaky no. cam and say, hey, make a movie now. I, 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 I. No, make a real movie. I don't think that was the problem. I think that this is just a bad movie any which way you look at it. I mean, every scare in here, and I use the quote marks in the air, is like ones that have been going on since the 70s. Like oh. the oldest, most predictable, dull, and the few moments there's even a little bit of gore or a special effect – it's like so see-through and fake and CG. I mean, there's a sequence towards the end with lots of spontaneous fire where it looks like literally every fire effect is just like the exact same fire effect we just saw just superimposed on top of something else. Oh, it, it looked like one of those old video games. Like, oh, like, yeah. like, like like something cheap, like Postal. And you're like, I mean, the first one was kind of a hit. You tell me you couldn't even get a fire effect, right? Yeah. Or no, wait, you could, you just didn't give a shit. Well, it's, a, it's, it's unfortunate because... It- I liked how you guys jumped to the very end of the movie because, honestly, that was the the only time I found anything interesting going on. And it's too bad that it was hindered by such bad visual effects because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, wow, you know, you would have actually had something really kind of cool and scary if you just used practical effects. But, unfortunately, you know, the rest of the movie, though, doesn't make up for that last – for that last scene. That last scene honestly doesn't make up for the rest of the movie because I mean you're just the movie is just completely devoid of any kind of characterization or idea of what's going on besides just characters popping up only to stand and scare scare this girl into reminding her of what happened in the first movie. And I mean and it's 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 so bare bones that I mean it is you 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 are just wondering okay something has to happen but halfway through the movie and I'm talking about at the hour mark Miss Cleo comes in to give you some exactly. very much needed exposition just to let you know why you're sitting in the theater and even that goes nowhere well that's it's- the problem with this film is that there's actually some core ideas floating around that you're like this could have been a pretty cool idea if you had bothered to do anything with it like hey let's bring in voodoo this time and have santeria and like have them deal with it and they're like shit man <laughs> what the fuck is it's like throwing a glass of water on a raging fire You're honestly like, i i just felt like like this movie is a is an empty suit and if anything like where it it where it ends felt like okay this is the beginning of what's going to be a movie it's like somebody wrote a beginning okay i got i got the opening for the next movie and then somebody else took it and said like the opening Dude, this, we'll just make this the whole thing. And it's like, no, no, I had a bunch of stuff, cool shit that was going to come later. It's like, we're not concerned with that. No. Yeah. The, I, what, what, what we have here. We're trying to save money. where it goes from where it starts to where it ends, I'm like, okay, that's a first act. Like from there, that, that point with the fire driving off, it's like, okay, now is where it gets going. Like, nope, sorry. Well, uh, you know. Game over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to the whole thing of <clears throat> found footage. It works because – you have you can do a lot more with less mm-hmm. in a found footage movie. You can stretch that shit out. And, and well, well, clearly, you can, and you don't have to show any effects or anything because the whole thing of the shaky cam going down dark hallways and stuff mm-hmm. that kind of it, it makes you feel like you're there more than anything. It's a it's a gimmick and it's a gimmick that can be used wisely, especially in horror and science fiction. And the reason why I say this is because the whole time watching this movie. The more I, I watch it, and the more I'm, I'm bored by it, and, and the more I'm thinking that this has no purpose, it takes me back to the sequel to The Blair Witch Project. Oh, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. The Blair Witch Project was a found footage found movie. Found footage, yeah. It was, that was an hour and a half of people walking through the woods. It wasn't until you got down to that basement and saw some hands on the wall. Yeah. And hands on the wall. We didn't yeah. see shit but a dude pissing in the corner and some hands <laughs> on the wall. Like, ooh, that's scary. You, know? <laughs> you take that shit away. You try mm-hmm. to make a real movie. You get bring out Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows. 
you get some bullshit. That being yeah. said, from the record, I think Blair Witch 1 was some fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> hey, hey, now. I, 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 will, I will defend that movie to the core well, uh, of what it did I'm for right me. there with you. I mean, you. I'm glad Thank it made you guys. I'm yeah, glad I'm, you I'm, enjoyed I'm it. I'm glad you all but, liked it, but I thought it was some, some, some now, primo bullshit. Know these motherfuckers were scared. <laughs> I know. They're trying to act all brave and everything now. We know. I know. And, you know, and, and, you know uh, I, like that's, that's, I'm glad you pointed that out, too, because uh, – that was going to be my next thing. Just just knowing that you know the failure that was the huge failure that was Blair Witch Two because I mean that was that was a big movie and I think that was a big movie on everyone's radar because regardless if you like the movie or not that first Blair Witch was a huge phenomenon. Oh, I mean yeah. it was it was something groundbreaking. It was hey, something that it's the one that started it all. Yes, it is. <laughs> you, you, know? you talk about Blair Witch Two. I kept thinking about The Exorcist Two. Quite frankly, because remember the first one, the first Exorcist, one of the scariest movies ever made, had a lot going for your edge of your seat. I mean last. Exorcism, pretty scary through a lot yeah. of it. This one, just like Exorcist 2, long stretches of ain't shit happening yeah. except flashing back to what happened in the first movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, but you see where I'm making Exorcist 2. No, but I, you, I, I you thought, see where I I'm coming from. Blair Witch thing. Also, I was like, did you not learn that you don't make a real movie after making mm -hmm. a found footage? <laughs> no, movie? you don't. Yeah. You stick with that. <laughs> you, you, it, cause, or just don't make a sequel at all, I, preferably. I, just leave it the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, they couldn't, though, because it, it obviously made some money. So, you know, Eli Roth is still Producing a producer on this. So, he need, you know, he that guy needs, he still needs to eat. He ain't doing no more of his Oscar movies. No, he don't. He should have been feeding the script. He needs to eat. I need to sleep. I could have been in bed by now. I need to be watching this. They turned Tino. I was like, seriously, dude, you got to do your own work and stop coming over to my house to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go make Last Exorcist or whatever. Yeah. I was joking, man. Don't do that. No. <laughs> I, 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 the, what disappoints me with this is that this girl, this actress, Ashley Bell, and she was incredible. She's in the really last movie. Talented. She was amazing in the last movie. And put in this movie, she's walking around like she don't even know what the fuck she's oh, doing there. She doesn't. She yeah, looks. Thought, she looks as lost like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> I, I mean, thought really. she was as good as anything could be in this movie. And I thought I had no problem with her performance. It was just, yeah, I was like, well, why don't you give me something to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave nobody anything to do. There's uh, the, 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 another problem with this is that it's a lot of characters in here, and no one has any characterization. They either are bad actors or they're not on the screen long enough or they just introduce people. That Miss Cleo character you're talking mm -hmm. about, there's a voodoo black woman that comes in the middle of the movie out of nowhere. Fuck Come nowhere. with me, child. You yeah. know what I mean? If you want to, if you want to live. You know, it's called some terminated shit. I mean, yeah, it, that, that, you don't know who she is and you never spend time with her enough to realize what role she's really playing in this. Mm -hmm. And well, that even it, the, the, the girls who were, were uh, Nell's friends at the at the girls' yeah, homes. Barely it, sketched out. Right, character. right. But mm -hmm. in the beginning, it's it felt like they had something for them to do. Okay, they're bonding. Something's going to happen. Even if it's just a, we're going to kill these girls off one by one, yeah. horror movie style. Okay, I'm in. We're used to that type of thing. But at least you get some gore yeah. effects. But, no, they're just yeah. largely written out of they're the just, story yeah, so they entirely. Just, they just abandoned. Because yeah. a few of them were hinted at as like, you know, uh, crossing that line of like, are they really her friends or are they really there just to give her a hard time? No, and especially once they discover like the hell she's been through. Yeah. You know, you thought they were going to play with that angle where you're going to have the one girl who who pretends to be her friend to act like a super bitch to her so you know it's one of those things that the movie could have played with where she's such a bitch you know that when she gets it at the end you i mean you are kind of like good she deserves right. it but they don't even do that nope. at all you know? right and no, like, no payoffs the funniest no, thing to me during this whole thing was the point where the movie goes here's what we're gonna do that's different than what you've seen before it's not just a devil who wants to possess someone again the devil is in love with her. And I'm like, you know what? If you described that to me and said, this is going to be a really good comedy, I'd go, you know what? I do kind of want to see that. Sounds funny. <laughs> Say, no, no, it's a horror movie. Oh, well, fuck that. What are you, an yeah. idiot? Why are you, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's a ridiculous point. Anybody watch Treme? Uh, no. Yeah. The, 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 Not the, the recent ones, but. Okay, I've but you watch, it seasons. takes place in New Orleans. Yeah. It's, the woman here, uh, the one that. The, the voodoo woman Ms. Cleo. her name is Tara Riggs yeah Miss Cleo mm -hmm. I was wondering if anybody knew the actress I mean she's in she, I think it's the same woman she looked familiar but I'm not sure mm -hmm. if it was the okay, same woman I, I didn't know but you know what there's a couple of black girls at the, at the girls home mm -hmm. and they both look like like killer lesbians in prison right <laughs> and <laughs> You should see one of the, the girls. Last one movie was killer lesbians in prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good movie, man. You should watch Deadly that. <laughs> <laughs> they should have made it instead of this one. Yeah. Right next to the killer clowns from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ra rapid rug punchers. Yeah. But uh, oh man, uh, one I don't know who the girl that, that was Daphne, but I think it's the one with cornrows yeah. that mm. looked crazy. Man, look how this girl looks on IMDb right there. Yow. Yeah. 
Holy I mean, shit. holy shit! I know. Was, was that was, was that after her exorcism? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. They, they, ex- they exercised the ghetto out of people looking at this girl, Erica Mitchell. I mean, Mich- Erica Michelle. She looks like a stone cold butch in a movie, man. And here she looks hot as hell on IMDb. Well, but yet I, I digress. You, I yeah, refer yeah. you to Charlie Theron in Monster. <laughs> well, I, come that's on. all special I, effects. I'm just saying, yeah, they yeah. can ugly up about anybody. I, it, it just looked like cornrows made the difference here. You know? <laughs> she needs to get a new agent. I don't know what the hell she's doing in this movie. She needs to hook up with Tyler Perry. Everybody, you know, no, yeah. He'll utilize her to the fullest. Everybody needs a new agent who's in this movie, except for Eli Roth, who should go stand in the corner until we tell him to stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to get back on track. I would, I, just, I would I, just make one notice right here. Do you uh-huh. notice that there are a lot of black people that are ugly in a lot of movies mm-hmm. but one thing i say about tyler perry when he's in when, when they're in his movies mm-hmm. they look pretty oh, oh, they look handsome. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what happens they're but beautiful. anyway <laughs> anyway uh man i don't know what else i can say about this this is bullshit it's some yeah. old bullshit the end of this movie you guys mentioned it it turns into it's a it's a photoshop project i mean yeah, it, it looks is. so it looks so bad the special effects mm-hmm. This is one of the reasons why you just don't change from that kind of format. Obviously, they're working with the same budget they had from the first movie, mm-hmm. and they tried to stretch it, and then they came up with a, a much, much worse project than they did. People, if you want to go see a movie where the only scares that you get for an hour is a picture dropping off the wall, a dog coming out the screen barking. Yeah, there was everything but a cat jumping up. Oh, that was yeah. the only thing. Um, I, and I would have given them credit for that, but I can't even do that. The, even <laughs> the guy that the guy that stands still on the street in New Orleans, even he was creeping up on people and surprising <laughs> yeah. there, there is not a scare in this movie. This, it keeps teasing you and teasing you. And I said, if they, I will let this movie get by with barely a pass if they do something really badass at the end. But the whole time, they show you nothing. I'm just trying to warn you people. You get to see nothing. This is some old bullshit. There was a jump for me in the very beginning with the uh, with the husband in the bed and, and the and the wife sneaking through the house w- w- for whatever prowler. They, they, I heard they, you laughing. Yeah, they, they got me with one. Oh yeah, and the one when she scared the fuck out of me. Because she, he's out there looking for something, and she goes, "Honey," he's like, "Shut the fuck up!" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm trying to protect us. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, you messed around, cool. You just gonna let her do that? <laughs> I wish a director could have been in that theater just to hear that one scare from you. You go, I, yes, I, I succeeded. Yeah, that, that would have been all he got. Uh, to, to me, this was the more I looked at. I was like. This movie was made because it's cheap to shoot in New Orleans. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> Louisiana is giving tax subsidies for filmmakers, and that's why you're getting a lot of movies there. And this just it, it just took advantage of that because there's almost no reason. It's like they had everybody still together, could get them for cheap, and had what was the beginning of a script and not a whole thing. And, yeah, there's nothing here. I, I kept trying to go with it or trying to see things I could count on it for. And once it, once it, once it really got to the end, I was like, wow, that was a whole lot of fucking nothing. And um, I would have gave it a rental, but it's some old bullshit. Yeah, I, I wish there was. The only thing I can say differently is I don't necessarily agree with you with your conceit that there's no way you could make a good live action film after a found footage one. I mean, you've got two examples now. It's like saying there'll never be a good superhero movie. Okay. But that being said, I'm exaggerating. You know, right. you know my motto. Right. Anything is possible. Yeah, anything is possible. But that being said, I hope nobody tries anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop making sequels to found footage films is a good well, rule. Yeah, that's some, a good I rule. think that's mm-hmm. unfortunately never going to happen because they're so cheap to make. This was like them somebody saying like, hey. We don't need to do it found footage. People are getting sick of it, but I'm going to prove to you I can do it just as cheaply. And it shows. Every penny <laughs> they saved is clearly evident in the lack of scares in this film and the lack of impressive special effects. I mean, if you're coming here looking for gore, don't. There's absolutely none. If you're coming here looking for cool devil effects, don't. There's absolutely none. If you're coming here looking for good acting, well, actually, to be fair, the lead actress is still pretty good in this, you know. She's all right. Uh, yeah, she's all right. It just made me go, want a car? Girl, you got to go somewhere else. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Look, I will find you a job. But n- not in this. Stop taking Eli Ross calls because this is some old bullshit. Yes, sir. Uh, Co-host, you going to break it? You going to break the streak? <laughs> No. <laughs> this movie was boring as fuck. I'm sorry. Yes. I really, I was really hoping to get something uh, interesting out of it. But, you know, when they do these midnight movies, you just know you're, 
you 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 you're gambling <laughs> with, eight with times that out of ten. ten. Yeah, that's uh, good. Nine times out of ten, you are going to get exactly what you thought you'd get. Shit, <laughs> and that's what I got. And you know, this movie it, not only I mean, does it kind of betray the whole spirit of what the first one was, which you know was purely original for an Exorcist movie. Sure, they threw in the, the found footage, but they managed to find something to do with it. The fact that they, you know, just that they were just lazy. I mean, it was, it was this this movie is just all all across the board laziness. And uh, there's no real excuse for it. I mean, you could tell by right right when the movie starts, you're just wondering, like, okay, where the hell are all the cops? How come nobody's <laughs> invest- investigating <laughs> this chick? Because apparently you, you're, the first thing you, you, you get to know about the, what happened in those woods is that everyone's gone. Everyone's dead. But, hey. Uh, we got a house for you here. Hang out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then yeah. How no come she's not a suspect? You know? yeah, there's no suspect. Yeah, she's not a suspect. There's no investigation. You're just like, all right. Well, you if you had seen Tremaine, you'd, you'd know why there's no cops. <laughs> yeah. It's New Orleans, man. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, cops don't do yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Made and, the, and the other thing, if the fucking devil is after you, get the fuck out of New Orleans, please. Yeah. Leave. Long I kept thinking that, too. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? I think the devil is the police chief in New Orleans. <laughs> Stay out of New Orleans and Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he likes to go play fiddle there. But, yeah. I mean, oh, man. But, you know what? Yeah, this this suffers from the worst the worst possible thing you could, that could happen to a film. Pure boredom. So it is a complete bullshit across yes. the board. You yes, know, that's is. the thing about these movies that we have to see at midnight because they don't do screenings for us. It's one thing that they're going to be bad. It's like, all right, you can be bad. But they end up being boring most of the time. Yeah. And that, that's the biggest crime of all. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, you know what? I'm glad that they found a month to to put them all out, apparently. I mean, I, I've been looking at a list of the movies that have come out this month. And, excuse me, I've been looking at them on Rotten Tomatoes. And nobody has even gotten to that 30% level. I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, it's like, that, that's kind of sad, you know? Yeah. Well, this ain't going to be the one to top it. <laughs> no. No, not at all. Not at all. I will tell you the only thing. The, the, and this is true. The biggest special effect. I'm just warning people. The biggest special effect that you get that is a true devil effect. This, chi- this chick has an upset stomach. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> Doing an exorcism, you get to see her stomach do the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's about, the, that's about the only thing. That's funny because I was getting sick to my stomach watching this goddamn movie. <laughs> Somebody you, needs you know, to bl- bless you, a roll roll yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I was, was going to say, you know, it's, it's sad when a Pepto-Bismol commercial is scarier <laughs> yeah, yeah. than the entire movie. <laughs>